Hey guys, again with a new episode of Westworld. This is number five, season one, of course, and the episode's name is Con Contrapasso, which is uh, an Italian word, I guess. And I have no idea what, why that name for the episode, but it's. I think it's going to be a short um, comment on the episode because I didn't really like it, to be honest. I mean, I really liked. Uh, some points which are the following and it's that the women as in Game of Thrones are the ones that are leading the way in the let's say in the in the process of finding out everything that's wrong with the park sorry I'm just looking for the names so I don't have to invent them so on one side we have Dolores played by even Rachel Wood and uh, she's, you know, she has played the damsel in distress for five episodes, so she finally um, changed her programming or something, and she killed a bunch of guys, and is pr uh, she's protecting that lame -ass guy that I, I don't really understand his character. I mean, he, I think he has no soul, and I think it was kind of funny that they confronted each. I mean, he confronted uh, his like, uh, what his. Beyonce's brother, I think she, he is, but um, I mean it's just stupid. I mean I, I, I didn't think she is, he's that interesting. Uh, well, I don't know the name of the actor, but uh, those two are. I mean the uh, one of them wants to kill all the robots and fuck them, and the other is all uh, nice and charming. But I don't think he's really nice and charming. He's just an idiot. And I think Dolores is kind of an idiot too for following him, but at least she found out like a new aspect of herself, and I think it, that may uh, may make the uh, story go forward. And the other character is Maeve, played by Tangi Newton. And I mean, both of them are the first ones in the Wikipedia list, which means they are the most important characters. I mean, without a doubt. I mean, with Anthony Hopkins' uh, character, of course. Uh, Maeve's uh, discovery, I mean, last episode was not explored at all in this episode, which was very disappointing. I mean, just at the end, you have her sitting and confronting her. Um, I mean, the person that was going to open her uh, on the, on the you know, like, surgeon's table. And she's, uh, you know, caressing a bird and saying, well, we have, you have some explaining to do, basically. And, and, and that's great, because she, she became aware, she became fully aware. And that's uh, mind-blowing. I mean, the, the episode didn't portray it as such. I mean, in, it ended in that point, but that was, like, the highlight of the whole episode. And if the highlight of the whole episode for you is the end, it's kind of disappointing. I mean, there should have been other points of interest. I think, I thought the scene in the brothel, like that kind of brothel, was ridiculous. I mean, it, it wasn't, it, it didn't look that, as it took place in the West. It was like Rome meets uh, the Renaissance meets Eyes Wide Shut by Stanley Kubrick. I mean, it was just ridiculous. I, I did. I really didn't like it. I, I don't know if the West had such parties, but even if they had them, I don't think they were just like that. I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I guess it's because it's a park and they just, you know, have some creative license there. But I thought it was really stupid. I mean, it, it was ridiculous and and. Frankly, I don't care about all the asses and the fucking happening all over the place. I didn't even care where the... Where the fr there's one part of the episode where the frame is focused on a black man's penis. I mean, great. That's awesome. But because the... the I, I, mean, I, I don't remember. I think it was the technician, the lady technician whose name I don't know. I think she's uh, Clementine, maybe? Oh, no, Clementine, no. Oh, Shannon, uh, Elsie, sorry. Elsie was uh, checking him because he was malfunctioning, and that makes sense because they are all naked when they are uh, tested. But uh, all the fucking, and, I mean, it was so stupid, that scene of the brothel, and unnecessary, and the only thing was that um, that happened there that, that I cared about was the revelation of the law is that she... She has an ulterior purpose, let, let's say, she, and she, she knows how to, play the, how to play the game. Of course, it was also interesting, I mean, uh, 
her, uh, Dolores's point of view, May's point of view, and the final point of view was the one by Ford when he uh, talks with the men in black. And you uh, uh, notice that he's aware that he's in his game, I mean, that he's in the park and what he's doing. And it, it, it makes it all even weirder because you, I mean, I thought the men in black was like an infiltrator that was trying to uh, get all the secrets of the park outside. And apparently he isn't because, or maybe he is, but uh, doc, uh, Dr. Ford, Anthony Hopkins, knows that he's there. So it's it doesn't really make sense and the fact that he's just having Jim Smarts and character along to meet Dolores I mean with the skews that they are following Dolores I mean it's just I don't know I, I don't like that part I think that romance is just so silly I mean it doesn't really have anything to sit on but I thought it was interesting to see that Ford knows the man in black and that he knows how vicious he is and I think it it's him that enables uh, the man in black to do all that he does because he does the many things that other um, people in the park cannot do or do like for a couple of days and that's all this guy has been in that game for years apparently so it's it's really particular besides those three points nothing really happened in the episode I mean it wasn't that interesting. Maybe the discovery by Elsie then that the robot had some satellite cable inside of the arm, and she now she gave the 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 cable to Bernard, played by Jeffrey Wright, uh, but he didn't really respond, and they didn't really elaborate on that. So it was like, oh, okay, a satellite cable. <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't well. I, I think the the screenplay for this episode was really really flawed. I didn't really like because most of the things didn't amount to anything and they tried to cram it all up at the end. I mean Dolores is uh, like epiphany and then Maeve's on the cutting table sitting and laughing and that's it. So it, it was like really fast at the end and really slow uh, at the beginning and I think that's not a good idea for a series that wants to be the next Game of Thrones. I mean for now it really isn't. But let's remember that Game of Thrones at the beginning wasn't Game of Thrones. I mean, wasn't as good as it, as it is now. I mean, if you remember it's Game of Thrones season one, it was it had a couple of really boring episodes. I mean, it was really really boring because it was all this politics and again they had the brothel back then, so it was like oh yeah, naked people everywhere. So yeah, that's and like free fucking because. Because why not? Because it's HBO. And now Game of Thrones really toned that down because they use it when they need to use it. Like when these people, these guys are checking on the, the androids. It's those moments, you understand why the nudity is and you're like, okay, that guy is, is naked, okay. And of course, I'm not, I don't have any problem with naked people at all. I mean, I think it's amazing, but come on. I mean, you don't, you can't, um, like try to play dumb with the audience and just, oh yes, I'm mean, give them fu free fucking because no one else in television may give them, may give them that, so I think it's just, mm, um, and they really have to, to up their game with the whole story, I mean, the nudity is the least, pro the, the least uh, awful problem that they have on Westworld, they really have to elaborate more on uh, everything else, on every uh, every other aspect of the story, trying to make the people connect better. I uh, was actually more excited about the preview for the sixth episode that than what I was excited for this one, which is kind of pathetic. I mean, that's sad. Uh, I I hope. I mean, uh, um, the next episode looks amazing. The preview with Maeve like going like fully. Uh, aware and you know Dolores or crazy I mean that's an episode that's something that happens I mean last episode episode 4 was really good and I don't under understand why they just dropped the ball in this one or, or the editing I, I don't know what it was but it wasn't as good as last week and it's very uneven this season up, up until now it's very uneven it's interesting but very uneven, so I hope it really picks it up in the next episode. And it's only if this is the fifth, they have another five maybe to go because I think uh, 
Oh no, another, uh, yes, uh, uh, another five uh, up until the 4th of December. So I really hope they those other five are really, really good because these five have not been that uh, that great. I mean, some are great, some are awful. So I hope they, they, they make it better. And yeah, I will be doing next week, uh, ne next week's uh, weekends actually, uh, chapter. I think there's one, yes, because they do not skip on any weekend, which is great because sometimes they skip a weekend and, uh, and it's like, oh my God, I have to wait two weeks to know what happens. And if nothing happens, it's frustrating. So, you know what I'm talking about. So yeah, uh, so yeah, it has been a, a well difficult way until here. But yeah, let's see what November sixth brings us with, brings us with the adversary, which is episode six. So thank you so much for for watching. Please follow me on Twitter, on Google Plus, on Tumblr, and uh, also comment and like this video and subscribe. Thank you so much.